Many players out there want to upgrade to HPA for the advantages that it has over AEGs and gas blowback rifles. They're more consistent, they have more accuracy, and overall you're going to have a much better performing airsoft gun with HPA compared to other systems out there. However, where do you start? As you're soon to find out, there are tons of different things you're going to need for HPA, and it's, you know, a little bit more complicated than AEGs. So today I'm at Amped Airsoft, the leaders in HPA airsoft guns. They're going to be taking a look at everything that you need to start out with HPA in airsoft. What's up, airsofters? My name is Lane, and welcome back to the BB Warrior. We're here to help you have a better time both on and off the airsoft field through our educational content. And if you enjoy videos like these, well, I'd love it if you joined our community by hitting the subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it for updates when we post brand new videos every single Friday. So the first thing that you will need for high power airsoft guns is going to be the air. So you're going to need some sort of tank to hold it. Now there are two flavors out there. You're going to have carbon fiber and you're also going to have metal, aluminum. So what is the difference between them? Well, aluminum tanks tend to be less expensive. However, they're heavier, but they're also more durable, whereas carbon fiber are gonna be a little bit more expensive. However, they are lighter. So if you're gonna be someone that is running out there with a saw, where you're gonna need a lot of air because you're gonna be going through a lot of BBs, it might be worth it to uh, spend a little bit extra money on a carbon fiber tank because you're gonna need to carry more air onto, you, or onto the field, excuse me. So the air that is in a tank for HPA is very high pressure and it needs to be regulated down before it goes into the airsoft gun for most systems out there. And that's why you're gonna to wanna to use a regulator. Now the regulator that I have here is the Amped Airsoft Custom Regulator. And this is gonna be nice because it has everything that you need. It's gonna regulate it down to something that's gonna be safe for airsoft usage. But at the same time, it has a tournament lock built in. A tournament lock, if you're unfamiliar, is a way that you can lock the ability to adjust the pressure that comes out of your HPA airsoft gun. This is something that I believe every field should do. It's starting to become more and more of a popular thing to do with fields, just to make sure that there is no unfair advantage or to make sure that people aren't maliciously changing their PSI on their airsoft guns to purposely hurt other players or get around FPS rules out there. So this will sit on the top of your tank, but you need a way to get all of that air out of the regulator into the gun. You're not just gonna have a tank hanging off the end of the gun, are you? That's why you're gonna wanna use some sort of line. Though There are two options. You have macro line, like what is hanging off of the end of this fusion engine from Polar Star Airsoft, or you can use what I personally like, and that is the Amped Airsoft lines. Now this is one of their ones in the premium weave, and why I like these is one, they come in neat uh, colors as well. They've got some flashy stuff if you're more of a speed softer, but at the same time, they are more durable. I've seen people do pull-ups on these, and they don't kink, which is gonna be really important, you know, if you're doing a system that relies on air power, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your line isn't kinking. So they're more durable, that you don't have to worry about kinking, that's why I personally use these, and they also have them for coming out of the engine as well. You have the AGL here, and you have the IGL as well. So I really like them because, you know, one, these look better than a tiny little bit of macro line coming out of your gun, but at the same time, they are much more durable. So that is everything that's gonna be outside of the gun. Now we can start to talk about the fun stuff, what's gonna go into your AEG to turn it into an HPA airsoft gun. Now most HPA systems out there are going to replace the internals of your airsoft gun. And while we have a standard M4 today, this is a Maple Airsoft Marauder, you can do this to pretty much any airsoft gun out there, as long as it uses your pretty standard uh, mech box, like a V2, V3, it can be adjusted and you can get different nozzles depending on exactly what gun you are putting it in. However, most of them come uh, prepackaged from the factory for your standard V2, for your standard M4. So the three major companies out there are gonna be Polar Star Airsoft, they've got a couple of options here on the table, Wolverine Airsoft, and finally, Redline Airsoft. And each system has their own distinct advantages. Let's talk about Polar Star for a minute though, because I think that they're really the leaders in HPA. This is the Fusion engine here. This is really the most well-known, I guess you could say. There are definitely tons and tons of these out there. It's probably the most popular HPA engine that it's ever been built. However, in the last couple of years, they come up with some other designs. They have their F2. And they also have their jack here. There are some, they do make another engine as well. I just don't have it here for today's example. However, the F2 and the jack are more of a drop-in where they replace the stuff that's inside of your gearbox shell, whereas something like the Fusion Engine kind of just replaces all of it. Now talk about Wolverine Airsoft, which is a company that I personally use right here. We have an Inferno Gen 2. This is their premium edition. It's gonna have a different fire control. 
uh, unit in there um, besides their standard one. And I really like Wolverine Airsoft because they're starting to push into products where it isn't replacing everything inside the gearbox shell, it's just their own independent body. That's going to be their modular training weapon, which we've talked about on the channel before. They have a very similar system coming out for their bolt, which is for bolt action snipers, which is why I like Wolverine. I am not much of a check or a tech, excuse me, as we have talked about. So I don't like, or I do like, excuse me, not having to worry about alignment and things like that. But that's not to say anything bad about any of the other engines here. And finally, we have Redline Airsoft. This is their SRM Hurricane. The really interesting thing about this is this is a continuation of their N7 Milson doesn't require a battery. It is completely mechanical. This is something that none of these other systems offer. So if you're the type of person that likes to go out to like the 40 hour games like a Milsim West, or if you just don't want to worry about a battery in general, Redline would be who you would want to go with. For all these other systems, they run off of a tiny 7.4 LiPo battery. And these are very efficient on the battery. I realistically charge mine about once a month um, when I play every single weekend. And then finally, you know where you're going to need to put all of that in? You're just going to need some sort of airsoft gun like we discussed. Again, this is a Maple Airsoft Marauder. And a couple of things that you want to consider when you are installing it into your airsoft gun is you're going to want to worry about alignment to make sure that that nozzle is going to be center aligned with your hop-up unit. It's going to be, you know, it's going to take a little bit of adjusting here and there. Polar Stars are typically the easiest to install, talking to my friends who own them as well as staff here at Amped. Polar Stars tend to be the less pain when installing them. So that is everything that you would need to get started in HPA. Now I want to say, if you are interested in HPA airsoft guns, in my opinion, there is nowhere better than Amped. Um, they were kind enough to bring me out today to have all of these examples here to show you, and they are the leaders in HPA for a reason. They've got a huge selection, and if you're not a tech like me, they'll even build a rifle for you. So make sure to check them out at Amped Airsoft, and make sure to also use that coupon code, which is up on the screen right now, to get 10% off of your order. Some items are excluded, but, you know, again, guys, Everything that you could possibly need would be here at Amped Airsoft, from the regulator, all the lines, the donor body that you're going to need for that. If uh, you don't have one already, everything can be found here at Amped. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I hope that you enjoyed. My question for you guys, have you ever tried HPA before? Has this ever been something that interests you, or are you a diehard AEG or gas blowback fan? Make sure to let me know down in those comments below. If this was your first time here, I would love it if you joined our community by hitting that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it for updates when we post brand new videos every single Friday here on the channel. But my name is Lane. I'm here at Amped Airsoft discussing everything that you need to get started in HPA Airsoft. And I'll see you all next time.